Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 22nd, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 22nd? Four of Cups. So we have somebody here that is focused on something. They've been focused on the past. They're, it's a very emotional time, okay? There's an outpouring of emotion here. Um, they may be feeling a little overwhelmed, sad, and alone. That's what this is. They're having a really hard time. Somebody is, ha is struggling. They're struggling, they maybe struggling over a third party situation, you know? And third party situations aren't always, you know, about cheating. Third party situations can be a choice between two people, you know? It's you and two other people, you know, that are, you know, and you've got to make some sort of choice, and that's hard. It's difficult. Could be between a, a parent and a child and a wife. You know, um, you know, that kind of third parties, there's all different kinds of circumstances. Um, but we have one cup right here that is coming up. This is coming out of the water. So coming up, there's like, it's like there's a big opportunity that is being missed. Somebody has their eyes closed. So somebody is missing an opportunity. Their eyes are closed. They're not seeing something. So they're missing it. They're missing an opportunity. Brooding. Overanalyzing. Six of Wands. Now, Six of Wands is a card of done fighting. The battle is over. There's some sort of victory after sorrow, because that is the victory wreath that comes after sorrow. Um, overcoming something. Overcoming a tough battle. Okay, there's been some sort of battle. But this battle is coming to an end. There's been a competition. There's been a lot of people that were involved. But this battle is coming to an end. It is. Somebody is moving in another direction. Now, we could have two different people here. This battle is coming to an end. Somebody is finding the strength. They've, they've learned. They have a lot of courage. There's a lot of bravery here. This is a very brave individual who has fought a good fight. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune reverse. Now this is bad timing, bad luck. One more. I got what's the hell is going on? Unexpected. Now that wheel of fortune reverses an unexpected, uh, unpredictable loss. Okay, it's an unpredictable loss. It is. It is. The lover. Somebody is making a choice. They're making a choice between two. Interesting that I. Interesting. We got two. Two here now. Some, it's interesting. Somebody is making a choice. They are making the choice. There's something that, you know, this is a, could be a karmic cycle. Somebody may be repeating their, their old mistakes, okay? This is repetitive behavior. Um, this is, there's been some sort of competition, but the competition is over. Somebody has been missing an opportunity for love, 
focusing on something that wasn't making them happy. But now they're making another choice. Now this is a choice between two, it is. And then there's, there's consequences here. This is a major choice, it's a major card. So somebody is making a major choice. This is a healing love. There's some sort of connection here. Um, a soulmate connection, a choice between two. Somebody that this is like coming together with somebody that there is some shared values with. And this could be somebody from the past, okay? This is the past coming back to haunt you. Somebody may have gotten into something, you know, and maybe it wasn't the right time. Maybe they met somebody at the wrong time and now it's the right time. Okay, so something about timing here. Now this is a victory, a victor. There's been some sort of sorrow. There's been definitely been some sort of sadness. But this guy um, is coming out of... Uh, the battlefield, right? Maybe being urged because Six of Wands, there could be some people that are urging this person to come forward. They're urging this person to uh, go do something. This is a unexpected choice in love. It really is. Um, this is a soulmate connection. It is meant to be. So, you know, this could be like, uh, I don't know. I, I hate to say serendipity because I'm, I'm not clear about that at this point in this reading. But this is something that didn't end, okay? It wasn't, didn't end effectively or something like that. There's been a lot of pride. Pride may have gotten in the way of success, okay? Somebody's pride and ego may have gotten in the way of success. And they've been sad. They have been sad. The sun. This is a renewal or a rebirth of a situation. It is. This is a yes. This is being accepted. This is a new beginning. It is a breakthrough of some sort. A happy, a happy new beginning. This is enlightenment. This is warmth. This is a birth. This is a new beginning that is going to make somebody extremely happy. This is a bright new beginning. It's, it's, an, it's a transformation of some sort. This is beautiful, a beautiful uh, love, extreme happiness. But that Wheel of Fortune is a shocking, shocking, unpredictable loss. It is. Some of you may have been uh, stuck in their pride, in their ego. They've really been thinking a lot, over analyzing or analyzing or something like that somebody's been thinking a lot about you know what happened and they may be coming back i don't know what this is now this is but this is a breakthrough this is a new beginning this is a blessing this is happiness This is a partnership, a union, a happy union, a happy commitment, a happy couple coming together unexpectedly, okay? These are kindred spirits that are meant to be together. They are. Queen of Cups. 
Now the Queen of Cups is an energy of love, right? Somebody that is loving, somebody that is warm, somebody that is um, tender. Now this could be a psychic or a healer, somebody or a counselor, somebody that is very sweet. Expressing their feelings. Somebody may be expressing their feelings openly. This is, a, this is somebody that is very, very intuitive, very high vibrational. We have one, at least one person that is vibrating at a very high level. Ooh, Ten of Swords now. Somebody's been hurt, really betrayed. This is betrayal, bleeding, left for dead. This is like a death, right? That is a death. So it's definitely, and this is very emotional. So endings lead to new beginnings. Okay, they do, because this is a new beginning. It's the birth of a new day. This is tomorrow, okay? The sun will come out tomorrow. The sun will shine again, right? So there's an ending that leads to a new beginning here. And there is with this Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay? There is. So there's. this is like a painful situation, a painful... Mm. I hate to say it, but that is, you see, what's, what's that right there? Is that like a raven? Okay, it's like a painful death. I'm just being honest with you. It's a painful, you know, situation where somebody was stabbed, okay? This person was stabbed right in the heart. It has been suffering. But it's the end of suffering, okay? This is a tense, the end of suffering. Eight of Cups now walking away. Somebody is leaving behind an emotionally disappointing situation and going back to something. Going back to something that isn't over yet. You know, it's weird. It's interesting. Headed towards wish fulfillment. It's like they've been dreaming of this. Dreaming of going back. Now, this is leaving behind an emotionally disappointing situation and heading towards a, a survivor, somebody that is strong, somebody that is, uh, you know, this is like a hero, a warrior, a soldier, uh, um, somebody that doesn't give up this person is headed towards somebody that doesn't and these two are two people are headed towards each other they are they are with a lover's card and these two these two people are headed towards each other this person has already survived some sort of battle they've already won their battle right they have they're done playing games right the six of wands this person this person is done playing games and they are headed towards an individual that has just walked away from an emotionally disappointing situation as well i feel like we have two people that are coming together that have uh both experienced emotional disappointment obviously you know and it may be the bad, wrong time, okay, or, or there's some sort of bad timing here, okay? It's like it's not, not, the, not a good time to start new things, but we have a new beginning here, okay? And it comes unexpectedly. We have one individual that has been hurt very, 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 very badly, but this is a healing Love, okay, it is. This is an opportunity to heal from that, okay? Now, this is somebody that is 
saying goodbye and, and running into or coming together with somebody that they are perfectly made for, okay? This is a, a beautiful connection. It really, 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 really is. But for these two people to come together, it does require walking away. It does. It requires walking away from uh, the emotional disappoint emotionally disappointing situation that you know caused so much illusion and sacrifice. Okay. It's going to take a lot of strength to walk away from that. So anyway, I do feel like we have somebody here that is walking away from a situation that they may have been, you know, disillusioned by, right? They may, it was the wrong choice. What becomes, what's right before the Eight of Cups? The Seven of Cups. Somebody made a poor choice. They made a poor choice and, and uh, they may even have some regrets. Okay, um, anyhow, now they're walking away from that poor choice and they're headed towards something or somebody that, I mean, this is, this is like a hero. The Six of Wands is a hero. This is somebody who has already fought. They've already been through the battle. They've already been through the war zone and they're done fighting and they don't want to play games anymore. They want to, they want to. They want to be free, right? They, they want happiness. They're looking for happiness. They don't want to go back to the war zone, right? So anyway, there is some sort of um, opportunity that has been missed. Big opportunity for love. Look at that Ace of Cups. It's big. It's big. So we do have a big opportunity for love here. And I think it's very unexpected. It's like you don't even see it. You may not even see it coming, put it that way. We do have one wounded individual that has done a lot of healing. Okay, this is a lot of healing. They have. So we have one individual that has uh, uh, done a lot of healing. But there's been a lot of betrayal. There's been a lot of pain. And they've suffered greatly. They have. The unknown card. The outcome is yet to be known. Because the decision will be in your hands. You will be making a choice. Definitely. Definitely. This is about a choice. Somebody is going to be making a choice. I feel like something is coming back around and you will have to make a choice or there is going, there's going to be an option for sure with the lover's card. There's going to be a choice between two paths and we've talked about this a lot lately. Do you follow your heart into a new beginning or do you stay put in a situation where there's a lot of discomfort and competitiveness and fighting and discontent. The choice will be yours. You will be in charge of making that choice. Page of Swords reverse. Now the Page of Swords reverse is a unwelcome message, right? It's a bad news of some sort. Caught off guard. Somebody is going to be caught off guard. There's an individual that has been, you know, watching. They've been observing. They've been keeping quiet. They haven't been saying anything. Uh, they have been fearful. They've been fearful about stepping forward. But they've been thinking about it. They have been thinking about it a lot. I feel like this person ha is being urged even by their friends or somebody. Or somebody is telling them 
you know, to find their confidence, to be brave, to speak up, to go after this. It's like to be, I think they're being told, they're being told to, you know, try it, try it, see what happens. But that Wheel of Fortune reversed is, you know, a delay. It's a delay. Maybe somebody has been experiencing some setbacks in their life. Maybe they've been falling down, you know, they've been they've been falling apart and you know, they've been haunted by what they've done in the past. Maybe maybe this person has been going backwards because, you know, they made that poor choice in the past and Wheel of Fortune is a card of karma and that one happens to be reversed. It really is. So, but we do have a breakthrough here and this is being accepted. The sun is accepted. So this per it's like there is there is an acceptance here somebody accepting a new beginning. So there is going to be an accepting uh, an acceptance of this new contract, okay? Or uh, or you know, I'm not even sure it's new. It could this, you know, for some of you it could be a reconciliation. This is like a renewal or a rebirth or a birth or something new. This is a new day, it's a new tomorrow, it's a new beginning with a partner that is perfect. But there's been a lot of wounds here. I mean, this is, uh, it's the end of suffering though. That's what this, I, I gotta say, this is the end of suffering. And this is like by morning, which I don't know if there's, there, it feels like there's from, uh, there's like some sort of shift by morning. A decision is made by morning and I don't know what that means to say goodbye to something that is emotionally unfulfilling so whatever that means for you Page of Cups, there's going to be a Page of Cups is an admirer. And it could it could be a secret admirer. It doesn't have to be, but this is a crush or an admirer or somebody that is love struck, okay, that is going to be expressing their feelings. Somebody's gonna be following their heart and trusting their gut, listening to their intuition. They're gonna be speaking up. It's gonna be a very emotional time. A message is coming, a message is coming that has to do with love, okay? Okay, this is welcome and unexpected news. This is also like, oh, Cupid or an angel or somebody that is bringing you an opportunity for love. There is an opportunity for love here. There is, I think it's like a, an admirer or some, and I don't like to say this much, two of cups on the bottom, uh, but it feels like this is definitely a soulmate connection. Two people are coming together that are meant to be. And what I was going to say, that I don't like to say this much and I keep getting interrupted trying to say it is, you know, this could be uh, somebody that you have known before, put it that way. You know, because of that wheel of fortune reverse, that can re that is like somebody coming back from the past, and I don't I don't like to I don't like to say that, but you know, but this is being accepted. This is a yes, okay. The sun card upright is a yes. This is done suffering. There could even be an apology. Somebody is following their heart and walking away from a situation that doesn't make them happy. The person that they are walking away from is going to get the bad news, <laughs> unfortunately. 
but there's such a huge opportunity for love here that it can't be denied okay it's undeniable this is absolutely a soulmate connection and it's clear to see so we have a union okay two people are if you are already in a coupled relationship and everything is hunky dory then your relationship is going to step it up to the next level if your relationship is not hunky dory and there's been a lot of conflicts and there's been a lot of competition and there's been a lot of discontent and sadness I feel as though there's going to be a separation because somebody is going to follow their heart and head towards another person that they feel a divine connection with. And this is going to grow, okay? With this, this connection is going to grow and there will be an acceptance. If you are in a relationship already and everything, like I said, everything is hunky-dory hunky or however you want to call it, you know, and there isn't any fighting, uh, then you, somebody may be getting pregnant or, you know, you may hear the news of a birth of a baby or getting pregnant or something like that. But if you are single, if you are single, you are going to be coming together with somebody that you are absolutely perfect for, okay? This is a perfect match. This is a soulmate connection. And I don't say that lightly. I really don't. This will be a very balanced, harmonious relationship. The suffering is over. This is a healing love. I feel like these people uh, it's like they run right into each other. I don't know if you don't know this person already, you were going to run right into this person. If you know this person already, there's going the message is going to come through. It's going to be it's going to make you very 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 happy. Okay? This is a welcome message from look at this, a happy new beginning in love. This is a message you know, from somebody that is expressing their feelings. They're very real. They're very genuine. Both these people have been hurt very badly. And these two people are going to help each other to heal. That is what I got. Good luck. 